Now in this video we'll be taking a close look at the laws of logarithm one by one let's look at some basic laws probably about seven of them we'll be looking at maybe about five of them in this video all right so the first one i want us to look at is law that says log let me use b for the base all right so log x plus log y notice both of them have the same base all right so log x plus log y both of them base b this is equal to the log and if you're consolidating the logs meaning grouping into one combining into one log then it's equal to the product x y in other words or for example let's say ask you find out the value of log 8 base 2 plus log 16 same base 2 then this is equal to the log same base 2 of 8 times 16 which is what's 8 times 16 8 6 is 48 8 1 8 so that's 128 right So we are seeing that log 8 plus log 16 is equal to log 128. We can just combine or consolidate the logs by multiplying or taking a product of the two values we are logging. All right, and we can test it. Let me just find out. What's the value of, suppose I ask you, what's the value of log, the log of 8 base 2? In other words, what power must I raise this base here to get 8? And what will be 3? What power must I raise this base here to get 16? That would be 4. So the left hand side here is 7, right? 3 plus 4. Alright, we're seeing this equal to the log of 128. Now, how do we find the log of 128 base 2? We ask ourselves, what power do we need to raise this base here to get 128? And of course, that would be 7. 2 to the power of 7 gives us 28. Good. Let's do another example so example let's do another example of, all right so if i ask what is the log of six base five plus log of ten base 5 and according to this rule here we can just combine have one log and then we take the product of these two values the 6 and the 10 all right and again notice the same base the assumption is that the bases are the same right so log 6 plus log 10 is equal to log 6 times 10 so that's equal to log 60 and that's pretty much what the first rule is saying all right you can always consolidate by taking the product of the two values that you are logging. All right, one last one. Well, so what is log? Base before. Log seven, base four, plus log five, base four. And we want to consolidate that into one log. Then we can just take the product so this is log 7 times 5 so log 7 plus log 5 is equal to log 35 that's what the first law is saying let's move on to the second law so now here we're looking at the second law the difference between the second law and the first one the first one we're adding this one we're subtracting and notice how we consolidate We put the first value over the second value. Let me do, a, do a little, do an example here. 
So make it a little bit more concrete. So if I should ask you what's the value of log, let me use base 2. Say log 32, base 2, minus log 16, base 2. Then this is equal to is it equal to normally so if you're adding you would multiply 32 times 16 but because you're subtracting now law says this is equal to 32 over 16 which is this would be what now let's simplify this 30 what's 32 divided by 16 2 and that was log 2 base 2 what power do i need to raise is 2 here to get 2 of course it would be 1 if you want to simplify even further. So, let's do another example. Let's say we have a log. Let me change the base. The key thing at the base is base must be the same. So, log 100, base 5. Minus log 2, base 5. Then this is equal to the log. Of course, we don't change the base. What's this now? So log, and then to consolidate is 100 over 2. All right, so we just divide. If we're adding, it will be log 200 because you multiply, right? That's all this law is saying. So you consolidate by dividing. All right, let's do one last one. Let's say, the, let's make the base here 3. And let's say this is log. 30 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 and how do we consolidate when you subtract in so this is log 30 over 5 right base 3 so this is log 6 so that's the second law Right, let's look at the third law. So this law, third one. So again, so if you have log x and it's raised to a power here, you can always put the power here at the front. All right, now so, so for example, let's do an example. So for example, log, let's say log. is 2. Let's say we have 4 to the power here of 3. Then this is equal to this power here 3. We can put a difference here. So it's 3 log 4. Base 2 of course. Alright. And you can work it out and both sides should be the same. Uh, this was 4 to the power of 3. 4 to the power of 3 is 64. And I say 2 to which power give you 64? That's 2 to the 6, right? So this left hand side is equal to 6. And the right hand side here is also equal to 6 because log 4 base 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. Alright, one more. If I ask you what's log base 5 square. Then this. The power here can always come to the front. So this is the same thing as 2 log 6. Alright. Same thing as log 36. Because this is log 36, right? So it can be written as 2 log 6. Last one. Example. This is for log 8, power 7. So it's pretty straightforward. You can always put the power to the front. So this law we call it change of base law. So let's say you want to change the base from B. Let's say you want to change the base from B to say C. Then we just change it. So base B becomes base C. 
all right but you have to divide and by the way in another in another video i'll do the proof for this log see same base here and of course put the old base here all right let's do an, let's do an actual example for this let's say we have a log of four by the way what is the log of 16 base 4 it's 2 right because remember you have to raise 4 to the power of 2 to get 16 let's see I want to change the base to 2 according to this law here you change it so we have log so you change the base to 2 but you have to divide by something because remember now this is log 16 base 2 no what is log 16 base 2 this is 4 because 2 to the power of 4 gives you 16 so this is this the left hand side is 2 is 4 so you have to divide by something all right so log and of course same base the new base here two and then the old base here which is four so notice log you change the base and then the denominator you have the new base here and the old base you log in the old base let's do one more quick example all right log so you have log three to the power of so to say let's say 81 and you want to change the base to 9 let's say you want to change the base to 9 then you change the base so this is log 9 but you have to divide by something what do you divide by log same base 9 as a new base here and then you put the old base here the old base here was what 3 all right one quick one just to get some practice suppose you have log seven well not log seven log 21 base seven and you want to change the base to five let's see you want to change the base to five so you change it you change it to five what you have to divide by log see a new base here five and then you put your old base here what was your old base seven so denominator will be log seven base five and the other two laws i want to look at quickly is log one log, no matter what the base is log one is always zero because remember you're just saying now we ask asking what's the value of so let's say this is base four Remember, we're asking ourselves, what's the value of log 1 base 4? We're asking ourselves, what power? In other words, 4 to which power give, give you 1? What power must I raise the 4 to to get 1? So 4 to which power give you 1? Alright, from indices, raise the value to the power of 0 is always 1. What, no matter what the base is. Let's say, and I ask you, and this is because 4 to the power of 0 give you 1, right? Um, log, let's say the base is 5. And so it's still 0. Because 5 to the power of 0 give you 1. So regardless of the base, regardless of the base, 10, log 1 is always 0. Alright? And then, rule 6, once the bases are the same, then the value is 1. So log B, so if I ask you what's the value of log 6, base 6, then that is always equal to 1. Because 6 to the power of 1 gives you 6. So if I ask what is log 10, base 10. This is log 10, base 10. You ask yourself, 10 to which power give you 10? 10 to which power give you 10? So 10 to the power of 1 give you 10. Alright, so the, this is always 1. So notice when these values are the same, the value is equal to 1. Alright? Let's... Continue in our next video.